Hey guys, today I'm making cauliflower and cheese balls in creamy tomato sauce and I will um, put that on top of some rice noodles for dinner today. With this cauliflower, a whole head of cauliflower, just cut it into pieces and put it into your blender. What I do next, I add some onions. About a whole onion, a small onion, two big cloves of garlic, some cilantro, two red chili. Any for any kind of chilies that you have, you can add that in there. And what I do, I add some water to help with the blending. About half a cup water. Okay, so blend this up. And then I'll show you the next step of mixing this cauliflower cheese ball. That's done. Okay, so this is your cauliflower. Remember you had put garlic, cilantro, and red hot peppers, any form of peppers that you have. I would put half tablespoon of salt. Just half tablespoon of salt. That the panko, I'm using panko crumbs, bread crumbs to add in here and I'm using like four tablespoon of rice flour four just a little red chili flakes makes it pretty maybe half teaspoon of chili flakes for those who are using eggs you can add an egg instead of the breadcrumb or the rice flour I'm using them to help me with the bonding um, keeping the balls together so I'm using about this is quart of a cup of breadcrumb. You could use regular flour if you like, but I'll put a little more. So about about a quart of a cup of breadcrumb. Because four of this is a, four of this will measure a cup. So okay, and add some cheese. The cheese goes right in here. So about a cup of cheese. This is the Italian cheese that I'm using. Let's use about a cup of cheese. Okay, and just mix everything up together. Okay, after mixing everything, it's still a little loose, so I'll add my four tablespoon of flour you can use whole wheat you can use um, regular all-purpose flour I'll do four spoons of this four tablespoons Okay, go ahead and mix that up to a nice, make sure you get a nice mix. Again, it depends how big is your, was your cauliflower, but make sure you mix it so well that when you make a small ball, it stays together. Okay, so this mixture is perfectly now. It's perfect to start making your cheese ball. So what you do, take a nice amount, like, 
see that just um, and then you put it in your baking sheet so go ahead try making them all same size so it bakes evenly I'm all done making the balls I preheat the oven for 400 preheat your oven for 400 and put this in there to bake I'll probably do 25 minutes then I'll stick it and see if it's fully baked and I'll let you know about the full time it took of baking okay so here I have the water boiling for the rice noodle actually if you want you can use any other um, noodle but I'm doing rice noodles the kids love the rice noodles so I'm doing rice noodles here you add some salt into the water before you add your noodles and some oil the oil help it from not sticking together okay so I put the noodle in here I'll let it boil remember to keep checking on it because this rice noodle is very different keep checking on it until it's tender and that will be done okay this is all done strain it and make start making the sauce let me show you how to make the sauce Okay, so I put some oil, some butter, put one whole onion to cook. I put about three tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of butter. Here I have tomatoes, green pepper, red peppers, cilantro, carrots. This is what I'll be using to make my sauce. You have zucchini, you can add a yellow zucchini, a green zucchini just add it in there and make a healthy sauce go ahead and add your tomatoes actually you can add all the veggies at once if you like it don't matter let everything cook about a few minutes and then you will blend it up if you have a stick blender you can go ahead and use the stick blender or just put it into your regular blender blend it up and then put it back for a minute to cook but I'll show you this just put everything in there to cook and oh it's in a beautiful it's not just tomato you know you want more veggies in there because you're eating the rice noodle as well okay so give that a turn Let it cook a little, a few minutes until it's all start losing some water. You want it to start losing its own water to blend it up. Okay, so add one tablespoon of garlic paste. Or right, if you want to, to grate two big cloves of garlic that would be great too some crushed pepper some paprika put about half teaspoon of salt the taste when your sauce is done cooking you can taste it to see if you need any more salt it's the cheese the parmesan cheese will be a little salty you don't want to put too much now so just put half a teaspoon for now 
I kind of eyeball it, so you can use a measuring spoon if you like. Now add about 8 oz of tomato sauce. You can use 8 oz of tomato sauce. sizzling that means there's not much water in there so I'll see maybe I might need some water let this cook down a little more okay I just took these out to check on them they cook really nice but what I will do I want them to have a little more brown on the other side so I'll go ahead flip them over Flip them all and put it bake for a couple more minutes. Okay, so this is this is the on, the only amount of water that it loses. So I need to add water in here before I can blend it up and have enough sauce for all the ball, um, all these cauliflower balls. So add a cup of water in there. Just add one cup of water. Okay, and right about now you will taste it to see how much salt you need. If you need a little more, I need a little more salt in mine, so I'll just add another half a te teaspoon of salt. Okay. This is good. This is ready to start blending now. I have a stick blender. I will use the stick, stick blender to blend this up. Um, if you like, let it cool off for a few minutes and then put it in your regular blender. until you get a nice creamy sauce okay this is all nice this is really creamy okay look at that that is so and you know this is a really healthy um, sauce you can even use this like a soup. It's really flavorful. Really, really delicious. So time to add the cauliflower balls in here. Okay. Add the cauliflower balls in there. And next thing you like to do too is Let it soak for a little before serving it with your spaghetti or... Okay, also go ahead and sprinkle some of your parmesan and then keep some to go on top of the spaghetti as well. Not too much, maybe about, that would say about that, it's two tablespoons. Get that little cheesiness in there. Sprinkle some cilantro on the top and time to serve. Okay, so right before eating, sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan on all around it. And okay, let me try this. Remember, this sauce is packed with all the vegetables in there. It's really healthy. Oh, that is so good, you see? And tastes delicious too. Let's try the 
cauliflower cheese ball. Really, really, really delicious. Okay, guys, hope you try this. Hope you like it. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. See you next time.